You have probably been asked to conduct research in most of your classes. A literature review builds off those skills. The purpose of a literature review is to summarize what is already known about a given topic. You will select relevant past research, then connect, synthesize, and evaluate these texts or studies. Think of it as a conversation between the authors. The connections between the ideas are as important as the ideas themselves. When conducting a literature review, take care to select appropriate source materials. Use a variety of academic and scholarly sources from books, scientific journals, reports, government documents, and websites. When reading sources, look for the arguments presented by the authors. Ask yourself these questions. What are the key terms and ideas? Is this relevant to my topic? How? How credible is the source? How is this source similar to others? How is it different? Are there any gaps in explanations that warrant more research? Trying to fill those gaps make for great science research projects. Here are some tips for finding good sources. Look for scholarly sources written by experts for other experts. Check the qualifications of the authors. These sources use discipline-specific vocabulary and provide verifiable evidence for their claims. Use peer-reviewed sources. Many journals go through an editorial process where other experts review and assess information before it can be published. Some databases will let you check a box to limit search results to peer-reviewed articles. Use an online database, such as one provided by your school library or Google Scholar. If an article looks like it relates to your topic, read the abstract, sometimes called the summary, first, before investing time into reading the whole article. You may find that some journals or articles require a subscription. Read the abstract to decide if the article really warrants further reading. If you want to find the article, ask your librarian or teacher if you have access to the journal. Avoid old articles that are likely to contain out-of-date information. This process is part reading and part trial and error. If you read something that doesn't seem to apply, move on. Don't try to make something work if it doesn't really relate. Make sure to properly cite any sources and save them so that you can find them easily later. Focus on what each source tells you and how they connect to each other. Remember, the purpose of a literature review is to see the bigger picture by summarizing what is already known about the topic.